Merci, bon Dieu, car de comme la misère fini pour nous. My name is Layla Michaela. I live in New Orleans, Louisiana. I live in the Bywater. What I love about making music is wooden instruments, and I love acoustic music. Merci, bon Dieu, car de tout ça, la nature porte pour nous. La pluie tombe. That's what made me fall in love with the cello, was realizing this amazing sound can come from this instrument. And, you know, that's why I love the banjo, because it has an, its own amazing sound. Papa, bon Dieu, dîner, c'est la mise à fini pour nous. The album that I am going to be releasing is a series of compositions that I've written to Langston Hughes's poetry, a couple of Haitian folk songs, um, and perhaps a couple of original songs. I grew up learning about Langston Hughes in my house and a little bit at school, and my, my parents got me a couple of books of his poetry, and I always really appreciated and loved the way that he uses words. I found that the more that I was putting the, the music to the poems, the more they became like stories and, and took on this whole life and almost like characters that I, I understood, that I had come to understand. The song Heart of Gold is, to me, it's like a character who's a, a southern, uh, in my mind, it's a black man maybe a black like teenager or something who's like kind of down and out. If I had a heart of gold, there's some folks I know. I'd up and sell my heart of gold and head north with the dough. I just think that there's a sense that, but I don't have a heart of gold. you know, everyone wants to still kind of get ahead and you know trying to trying to figure out life I, I th feel like that's what Langston Hughes writes a lot about and I feel like that's what people are still doing This is gonna sound crazy, but the cello is a living thing. Like, instruments are living things. The wood is expanding and contracting. It's so sensitive to light and heat and humidity. This instrument is not just for the concert hall. And that's why I like playing Bach on the street. Because it's, it's different than a lot of the music that is out on the street for sure in New Orleans, but out on the street anywhere. like having like a fat cello sound or just like a really delicate sound but still having it be really uh, kind of raw. I like that presence, I like that fierceness and so I feel like there's a good amount of practice and polishing involved but there's also just like raw spirit and I want to be able to capture both of those things and I think that that's what makes me feel fulfilled. <laughs> Well, music, it's a, it hits your ear right away, so you either like it or you don't, and not that that's necessarily even the goal, you know, I don't want people to just like it. But I want people to also feel like they understand what I'm trying to say. I think that when you're saying something, or you're feeling something, and you can say it the right way, 
and also musically express it the right way, uh, people can connect to that, you know? Because you're being clear and you're being honest. Completing this recording project is gonna lead to a lot of great things and and it's gonna feel really good to have a, something that I can say here. This is this is me, this is my band, this is what I've created, you know, and I don't think that it's gonna be the last thing that I create, and that's even more exciting to me.